everybody, welcome back to Sloths and Orchids. My name is Elisa and I take it that you missed me. <laughs> um, I haven't had any recordings made this week because I was still recovering from whatever, whatever I've had. But um, I've decided instead to make a good use of what I've already have and made in previous years. And today we have another segment on inside my wardrobe and I'm going to talk about my sew over dresses. So without further ado, let's get started. So the one I'm going to start with is Eve dress and that's the one I'm wearing now. This one is made of beautiful viscose shawl. Um, this one was from the textile center, I believe, and it's gorgeous to wear. It's really beautiful. I had to really make sure that I pay attention of this part of the pattern here where it's cut on bias but it has to be certain lengths to kind of sit tight to not reveal much and yet still I had to I don't know whether you can tell I had to put a little pin on the inside there just to hold it together because even if you kind of think you're all secure and you go walking around it kind of starts coming apart a little bit and that's then the nature of the wrap dress I've made two I wish I could have made more, um, I probably should in fact. It's a really beautiful way to use up the floaty drapey fabrics, you know the design is very uncomplicated um, and to be fair last year I was put on furlough for two months, I was crushing on silver dresses hard, like hard, like all these dresses behind me are all silver dresses that I've made during that time so yes this one has pockets but the next one next eve that i'm gonna about to show you doesn't have any pockets so the fit is beautiful i believe i made a size 12 although my measurement called for size 14 but i made size 12 and thank god it still fits this year although i've put a lot of weight on six year, uh, since since last year i'm honestly like i don't know how it still fits but it feels super comfortable super comfortable i've got a little oh it's a very long tie in fact um gorgeous gorgeous one of my favorites so so next one is again eve dress on the inside it's all been overlocked um everywhere overlocked everywhere Again, it's a viscose chalet from the textile center. Um, I think it's a um, really beautiful print that elevates the whole look of a dress and makes it a bit dressier. So this one is more like a casual kind of everyday kind of little chic little everyday dress. But this one you can actually wear somewhere for like a garden party perhaps. Um, you know, or... Um, for lunch in town with your girlfriends, you know. Um, so yeah, I love the sleeve. The flutter sleeve is so pretty. Um, I've seen people making a different version for like winter and autumn, you know, with longer sleeves and shorter skirts. But I went for both of my dresses. I went for uneven, uneven skirt, which is longer at the back and shorter at the front. So another beautiful Eve dress. Um, this one is not as tidy as I like it, <laughs> but I'm going to show you anyway. I put um, like a little cotton cotton um, strip. What's it called? The cotton stabilizing strip. And from underneath of it, the raw edge, which I should have secured now thinking about it, started fraying. So every time I wash it, I keep chopping off like little threads. Um, next time I will pay attention and just do that and also and also you can like see shreds everywhere which are very untidy but hey I'm showing you good inside I'm going to show you the bad inside as well um, not as bad as it could have been yeah just the overlocker finish 
The only problem with this white one is you can see the creasing quite a lot and it creases, you know, it's viscose surely creases. On this one, it's not as noticeable because it's pattern and it's dark. On this one, it's white, like every little crease shows. So that's my Eve dresses. Moving on to my next obsessive um, line producing is so over at Kitty dresses. Kitty dresses. Right, so this one was my first the trial one. Um, this is from Fabrics for All. You know, look at this fabric. You see tiny, tiny little bit, bit of fleckles of green. I don't know what was my process of thought, but I've decided to <laughs> do the extra bits, the facings on the inside in green. Does it go? No, but it's fine. Also, I don't know what happened there, but I've really quite messed up on on the belt here. You can probably tell that it's not even, but that's fine. I've learned. However, this one, I was already doing a little bit of um, bias binding on the pockets. And also your bias, like a bias strips on the inside everywhere, which um, is nice. So that's nice. It's nice. And the bottom just looks like this. And the buttons, I don't know why I put like a, a gazillion buttons on it, a lot of buttons. And these ones I got from Abacan. And they were, at the time, they were literally like silly price, like a 4p or 5p. And these are like, I don't know if you can see, but they're like a cat eye, light gray. Very cute. Another kitty dress. Again, um, the fabric is from Abacan. And... The buttons are from Abacan. Again, they're cat eye, very cute purple, which is like a perfect match. Um, the sleeve, you know, um, I love these little gathers at the waist. I don't remember this kitty dress. It comes in loads and loads of options, but I just stuck to this one option of short collar and a gathered skirt and a short sleeve. Um, so all my three dress, all my three kitty dresses I'm, are made just exactly like that, all the same. Again, on the inside, I've done, I apologize for all the cars and the neighbors talking outside, but you know, this needs to be recorded now. So um, I've done the bias binding. I've done a contrasting bias binding on the pockets. Well, at least I've done the bias binding, so that's fine. And, yeah, the pockets are just like, it's quite cute. The sleeves on the inside are again bias bound. And we have an exemplary three different bias binding colors on the inside of a dress. Why? I don't know. I was probably trying to use up all my bias binding bits and bobs because I hate waste. But it kind of still does, so that's fine. <laughs> um... This is gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Um, however, I have to say that if you're looking at the footage of this dress on me, although it fits just about, so it is a kind of the correct size, but I feel big in it. It is so tight on me, and not even because it's slightly tight like size-wise, but because the fit of it, the design of it is so tight over your figure, I just feel very, very big wearing it. So. Um, Later on, we're going to move on to my Kate dresses and you will see, definitely see the difference. So proportion wise, for my body type, it is not ideal. It's not ideal. Um, but I do love them. They're just so pretty. Next one is my favorite dress, absolute favorite. This is um, Cotton Lawn from... I don't even remember where I got it from. I think I got it from the textile center. It's very thin, it's almost like a cotton voile, you know? You can actually see the difference between one layer and two layers. Um, this fabric is 
like my personal beautiful floral heaven um, again same design you've got a shawl collar you've got a gathered skirt I think I didn't even lengthen the skirt I don't think I've lengthened the skirt no um, I could have done with it being slightly slightly longer um, again you've got very cute bias binding which are actually made from the same fabric the same on the sleeves I actually prefer that I prefer if you have a pattern pattern fabric it's probably best if you just do it from the same fabric well especially this one was very thin and very easy to work with again we have pockets and the pockets are bias bound and I think it's in this dress that the um, method they use of attaching inseam pockets that are just beautifully all the seams are unclosed when you're doing that um, I have to revisit this particular pocket construction and actually just borrow it for my any future mix because it just comes out ever so tidy so tidy so the next dress I've got here are two penny dresses so with this penny dress you know how Lisa goes very clearly in her instructions saying that you have to get cotton lawns and any cotton fabric so what do I do I go ahead and use a very drapey polyester crepe fabric well because why not so anyway this fabric I got from um, pound fabrics and this is one of the rare cases where this fabric is actually absolutely gorgeous and it was a very large print um, of these very huge flowers um, which I, I think I had about three meters of it so I positioned them kind of diagonally um, across from each other and I also did the buttons which I didn't even do buttonholes I just sewn them through because the opening neck opening is big enough for you to just put it on and pull it through your head without a problem and um, I put white and white and then blue <laughs> blue and blue just to match um, and so yes I think the only problem with it that I have is it's a tiny bit kind of tight around this arm part I don't know whether it would make a difference or not if you had it in cotton probably not um, I don't wear it very often last time I wore it is when we went to Ukraine to visit my mom and she was absolutely ecstatic about this dress um, she thought it was absolutely gorgeous gathered waist is not my forte on me but um, I don't mind it too much it's fine um, I think if I were to wear this dress again I would probably chuck something on top of it and wear it as like a layered look so that's number one and this is a number two did I learn from making a penny dress from crepe fabric no because second time around I went for another crepe fabric again this one was um, a John Caldor I think I'm pretty sure it was um, and again this one was from the textile center the fabric is not very cooperative um, it twists and turns and and frays and doesn't like to be turned into dresses but in the end I won um, and again with the buttons I saw them right through both layers didn't bother doing buttonholes at all um, and I did the self-covered buttons to kind of go with the pattern of the fabric where they're positioned um, I absolutely adore these little gathers on the back um, of the sleeves and you know <laughs> I have to take my hat off to the designers of these dresses because there's so many little vintage little kind of design details in here that it just makes me smile you know um, every time I use silver pattern it just makes me smile um, again this dress is all overlocked on the inside it's all quite tidy I think it's all quite boring I'm not going to show you the armholes or anything on the inside but then again the elasticated waist cute and the skirt actually sagged a little bit on the front both front and back and my executive decision was to leave it like that and feature it as a designer choice I don't know one day I might just kind of even it out but at the moment I can't be bothered um, 
yeah this fabric is lovely to wear again it's a polyester polyester I think it's like a satin her back satin it's very cute and the last three dresses are Kate dresses and it's I have to say it's my favorites my favorites this dress is hands down the most worn dress that I've ever made that I own um, this made of a very cheap polyester from I do believe it's from the textile center again or maybe palm fabrics I don't know very very cheap cheap nasty polyester I can't stop wearing it it's just so cute I love these little shoulder like a little little gathered shoulder calves so adorable and in this one because it was the first the mock the mock dress I was making I did buttonholes on the wrong side so in the end I've decided to just go ahead and put the press studs on this side and then press studs in here so it doesn't really bother me but then I made a note to myself and I did it correctly the two other dresses that I've made um, I didn't do any other alterations whatsoever again I'm super surprised that they still fit me <laughs> I don't know how um, but they still do and I feel very together wearing these dresses very I don't know they're like a classic just a classic shirt waist you know oh I love I love my Kate dresses um in fact I should make a Kate skirt and another Kate dress or two I don't know I should make just quite a few so again like I said this is polyester the next one I made is in is in cotton like a cotton lawn this fabric was from fabrics for all it's absolutely stunning stunning fabric um, I've decided to put the, put the back of a collar in a matching turquoise um, fabric and the buttons are actually r real vintage buttons I think I got them on eBay somewhere um, um, again this dress I wore a lot um, I don't know I don't know what else to say I just absolutely love them and the way they flatter my body I don't know I think you would probably flatter most most bodies even especially those with narrower hips than shoulders they would really look nice on those girls ladies as well um, so these are the dresses that I feel most comfortable wearing then the last one is actually you've got an array of fabrics for this kid dress because this one is made of viscose I think it's viscose chalice, but then it has tiny little like a little design like a raised design in a fabric as well I've worn this one so much that it started going a bit I don't know if you can tell you can probably see tiny little tiny bubbles you know <laughs> forming under the arms because I wear it so much I love it again you can't go wrong with like a pin pin dots and you know white and it's just such a beautiful classic design that I just can't get enough of it so um, with this dress I think I made a little bit more effort and I just did still overlocked here but I actually did bias binding on the um, waist and the sleeves what's going on here oh, I stabilize it oh very good with a cotton strip again so that it doesn't stretch and because it has a concealed plackets um, I decided to Go for round buttons here and then one square button on top <laughs> I just it just makes me smile because I can yeah I th I think this dress is kind of a little bit involved because you have both but conceal buttonhole plackets um, and you've got your invisible zip on the side and you also have like a collar um, and a cuffed um, sleeve so it does take a tiny bit longer than just any other dress with less you know like a wrap dress like this dress is a bit faster to make but it's so worth it you know um 
just looking and, and trying them on now. I just want to make some more of it, especially of this Kate one. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed my um, small or large collection of sew over dresses. I'm going to make another segment about um, my other dresses and also skirts and pants and tops and all that. So that's all to come. Um, hopefully next week I can resume filming what I'm doing day to day and just give you like a, like a progress report, you know, at the end of the week. But like I said, this week I didn't do anything. This morning I've cut out two Vicky Sews dresses, but I'm not gonna tell you more about it, but you can go and follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be posting little videos and little snippets and photographs of what's going on so you might want to see there before i actually put out a video at the end of next week i hope you're having a nice week and sewing loads hopefully more than me <laughs> stay pretty and i see you guys next week for more sewing shenanigans bye bye